morning everybody it is what day is it i don't know what day it is it's early in the morning uh it's about seven o'clock and yeah it's just really early so let me just tie my hair up today's makeup alphabet is the alphabet h and i think this is the alphabet that we have everything including a moisturizer so i'm super excited to get started because i have so much things in front of me so it seems like in the alphabet a lot of things have something to do with h interesting right okay so let's start with the moisturizer i have just my essence on my face and i'm going in with the hydra maximum day cream from dr scramac i just did a video well maybe not just like a few days ago um with all my get unready with me and i think i showed this item as my nighttime moisturizer oh my gosh i don't know if that's gonna show up like this gigantic zit i was really naughty i decided to pinch it <laughs> and oh man it hurts i think it's worse now like i know in my head as i'm pinching it i'm telling myself mentally don't do it cat don't pinch your zit and I still do it. <laughs> for foundation, I was trying to look for one that said hydration, but I don't have any. However, I did find one that says uh, 24 hour wear high perfection. And this is from Dior Forever. My color is in one N, so we'll consider that as F, uh, H. <laughs> Just put a little bit. One N is my color now, like I am that white. on my face and I'm using my IT Cosmetics uh, one of my Kabuki brushes by the way I don't know if the camera is picking it up but my right eye is slightly swollen because yesterday I had a eye rubbing fest I was just like rubbing 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 oh, I was so good you know once you start you can't really stop and then my eye was just swollen because it's it was aggravated with the rubbing i don't know if you can see it it's slightly like i can't open my eye fully it's slightly swollen so hopefully the makeup will hide it a little bit dior foundation is such a beautiful foundation i love the finish it's not very glowy but there is a slight sheen so it doesn't look too matte and it makes my skin look perfected of course this zit is like blood red purple because I pinched it so hard I would need a concealer to cover it but you know if you've got like you know slight imperfections you know I'm just trying to dab a little bit more I could get away with just that you know like just let it be because I have that giant zit I'm going to use the concealer version and this is also does it say H here is this hot cover in French I think in French it has a H but it says full coverage creamy concealer now this color is actually too dark it's 2n but maybe as a concealer it will be okay go on my dot here maybe a little bit under the eye it's too dark for under the eye actually for powder i'm using the ambient lighting powder in diffuse light from hourglass and this color is actually really suitable for me because it has a slight creamy yellow tone but it doesn't look yellow on the skin it's very very brightening so let me just grab a brush taking my big fluffy refer brush and I'm gonna set my foundation if you have dry skin like really dry skin you probably can get away without setting but for me, because of the weather here, it's so freaking hot, I'm actually already sweating right now. Um, my face will get greasy, so I always, I usually set my foundation. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first, and I'm slightly cheating. <laughs> this is the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the color that I'm using is chocolate. I actually don't have any other color. I used to use her pencils or her brow wizards for the longest time then I swapped out to Dior and then I also used the Gucci ones I 
I kind of kind of use a few colors chocolate I use dark brown and also graphite and there was one more ash I think it was ash brown if I'm not mistaken so I try a, few, a variety of colors I do find that you know, it doesn't really make a lot of difference one of them is a little bit more red I can't remember which one graphite is actually really dark so I think for me maybe chocolate and ash brown is a good match I just take the spoolie from my Gucci pencil to just brush that out so easy to use really I forgot how convenient the brow whiz is for eyeshadow I have a lot of products I was kind of surprised that I had so many things starting with H so I'll just share with you what they are and then we'll just pick one so the first one is Heroine from Illamasqua it is a, a cool tone I would say transition shade that's one color I also have a Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in the color Honeymoon so maybe this one would be one to use okay then I also have this Sukyu eyeshadow palette in the color Hikari Gure, which is a beautiful, beautiful neutral autumn shade. Maybe this would be a good one to use as well. Oh, there are so many. Okay, and then I also have the Chanel Le Beige palette. This is a new palette. It's Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette got some element of H, right? Then I have the Shantakai Hummingbird Eyeshadow Quartet in Warm. So another really, really beautiful eyeshadow palette. Uh, four colors, a little small. That's one of my complaints on this uh, Shantakai palette, but super pretty. Then I have a House of Siage Eyeshadow Quint from the Disney Collection really nice as well and finally I have this holographic palette from Kat Von D so this is sort of more of like a topper not really an eyeshadow palette on its own like an addition so wow we have so much things with H oh my goodness I'm gonna take a palette where the name of the palette starts with H so it's either Hikari Gure, Hummingbird or Honeymoon and I think I'm gonna use Honeymoon. I just feel like I wanna go in with something very, very shimmery and yeah, I like this kind of jelly formula. So let's use Honeymoon today. I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush again. This is the Real Techniques Base Shader Brush. Perfect for these kind of baked formulas. You can really get into it. So I'm starting off with this shade up here on the top row. This is a bronzy, it's a bronzy color and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I remember Honeymoon being a very very popular color. When it came out I think the whole world went what? Because it's pretty neutral except that it has a bit of like like oomph to it and you can get away with just one shade so this is that bronze shade. Super pretty. I can actually just go out with that. It's pretty warm tone, so it's great for summer, wherever you are, or any kind of hot climate. It's actually really pretty. Now, I'm gonna amp it up a bit with this uh, darker shade here, just taking it at the corner of the brush. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer side, right here. Ooh, it's very pigmented. And these kind of slightly shimmer shades, they are so easy to blend. Actually, Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes, they are so easy to use. I haven't had any like trouble using them and I'm not like a makeup artist, I'm just, just a person who loves makeup. And I haven't had any like bad eyeshadow days, like some that I, you know, over blend or I put too much and I can't figure out how to blend it out. So I'm just gonna do like that one dab. Do the other side. So I'm actually using the side of the brush and I'm putting it there, placing it first, and then start to just blend it inwards and upwards and blend it inwards. Sort of like pressing on my lid and just dragging the color in, but really lightly, because it's your eye area. 
and you want to be sort of gentle. Using the brush 239 from MAC, it's a flat shader brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of that. Ooh, it's like a peachy champagne color. Tap it from the inner corner to the center, really amping up the look. Oh my goodness, that is a pretty, pretty shade. Eyeliner I have two with the element H in it. So the first is the Wayne Goss Rich Hazel Eyeliner, which I think I'm not going to use today. I'm going to use the Heroine Meiku Makeup, or if you pronounce it in English, it's Heroine Make. Let's use this because I haven't used this in a while, and this is one of the best liquid eyeliners. I mentioned it in one of my other videos that, you know, we have Tom Ford, but this is really, really easy to use as well. So, let me just show you. I'm out of practice when it comes to liquid eyeliner, so I can't get them exactly the same. But with this brand, this Heroine Meiku, it is so easy. It uses a brush tip, and it's not too flexible, yet not too firm. So it makes that part, you know, where you create that wing, very, very easy. So for mascara, I have from the same brand, Heroine Meiku. This is another very good mascara its tip is slightly curved so you can get really into the eyelashes and it's waterproof it stays all day you will need a cleansing balm or an oil cleanser to remove it but it's super black I feel like using this holographic palette even though I've already done my eyes but I don't know I just feel like it it's got a green a blue a violet and an opal really a lot of dimension kind of eyeshadow. So I think I want to put it maybe under my eyebrow just to amp it up a bit. Let's do, you know what? Let's do the purple. Just for the heck of it, right? Right in the middle, just a little bit. And I'm going to put that under. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Doesn't really go. But that's okay. We're just being crazy. Ooh. You know what? If I use the Pretty Baby palette, this would be fun. I just felt like using it since we've already taken it out, right? Let's put a little bit of bronzer and I'm using the Le Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor Bronzer. Now, this was limited edition oh, quite a while ago and I'm still using it. I don't care. You know, I, I know you're supposed to toss your makeup out, but you know, I have like, so much makeup, so... Let me just dab that in. It'll make the Healthy Glow range, except that maybe you can't get the one with the three bricks, but I will link something similar if you're you know, interested. So I'm gonna just mix it up with my Tom Ford brush and I'm gonna give myself a Healthy Glow. I have two blushes with the H element. The orange box, of course, Hermes. And I have this Hydrating Gel Cream Blush from Shantukai. So I feel I'm going to use this because I want to save this when we reach the alphabet V. Because the color is in Vibrant. And yeah, we'll just wait until we reach V, then we'll use this cream blush. But yeah, let's use the Hermes one. And the color that I got is Rose Plume in number 28. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I did a video reviewing the blush. Or just dedicated to this blush and you know my thoughts are it's a nice blush to have very expensive the packaging is totally not worth the price point they should have done so much better with the packaging where is my little dust bag where is everything with this packaging it feels cheapo so oof. It's a beautiful color, but Hermes did themselves wrong with this whole launch. They should have done it so much better. So I'm taking my mini cheek brush from Sonia G. And I'm gonna put that on my cheek here. 
the formula of this blush is good. It lasts the whole day. So I'm not disappointed with the actual product itself, but I am very disappointed with the packaging. And of course, we're not you know, buying the product for the packaging, but honestly, we are buying the product for the packaging. At that kind of price point, at a hundred over dollars for a pop of blush, you better give me packaging, okay? <laughs> Hopefully, Hermes will fix it, you know, maybe when they relaunch it or redo the packaging, you know, come on. Don't be so stingy with the packaging. You did so well with the lipsticks. They are solid and hard, but this, oh my God, did you hear that? <laughs> you know what? I totally forgot to use this powder. It is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I wanted to use this to set my under eyes and I totally forgot. I think maybe my eyes were swollen and I just forgotten. But yes, I do have a powder with H, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, so. We will find a time to use this. It's all H, huh? Maybe the word P for powder. <laughs> okay, let's do lipsticks. And I have four lipsticks with H. I have all my Hermes lipsticks, but I've been doing so many Hermes related stuff. Let's not do Hermes lipsticks again. So I've got four here. House of Siage's uh, Disney collab collaboration for the lip gloss. I have this proper beauty lipstick in the color Her Magic which is a very, very vampy, beautiful color. You know what, let me just put a few colors, right? And I'll settle with the color that I want to stay, uh, put on my lips for the rest of the day. Then I have Honeysuckle from Shantakai, which I use very often, so let's not use that. And I got a gift from a friend, so let me just grab it, where is it? I got this Van Cleef and Arpels paperback from a friend and she gave me a, like a makeup set. And in there, there is a, what is this? This is a lipstick in the color Hera. So we'll use this as my last color. So the brand is called Molly Cosmetics. There are a few more things inside this little bag. So when we reach M, I will take this out to use. Let's play with two lip colors. The first is Her Magic from Propa Beauty. Ooh, very vampy. I love a chocolatey lip. This is one of my favorite colors from the brand, Propa Beauty. Now, the thing about their lipsticks is the color is very saturated and it's very rich. If you love a brown lip, it's great. But I do find that my lips do dry out a little bit towards the end of the day. I think it's the formula. Maybe it's not so hydrating enough. So my lips do feel very dry after. Oh, well, not very dry, but you know, mid-dry, like I had lipstick on my lips. So I would recommend that you put a lip balm underneath the color and then only put this color because this is more for like the color rather than the hydrating formula in the lipstick. So I'm gonna take this off and then we'll try the other color from Molly. So from Molly Cosmetics, I've not heard of this brand before. Um, the color Hera is a, ooh, it's like a mauve neutral mauve color. It's be pretty. Doesn't really have a fragrance. Yeah, it's like a matte lipstick. It's kind of dry actually. Oh, first impressions for this lipstick, it is quite dry. <laughs> I felt like I had to, dr it was dragging on my lips a little bit and I definitely can see the lines on the lips. The color is beautiful. It goes really well with the blush but it is a drier formula and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be so matte, but it's pretty. Like if you don't have many lines on your lips, then this will be a beautiful color. But because I have a lot of lines on my lips, I would prefer to go in with a lip balm first and then just color on top. But anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed today's makeup alphabet. Everything H, I had everything, which is really, really incredible. So H is the winner for the alphabet so far so hopefully as i move along we will find more things okay so anyway if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell as well otherwise everybody please take care stay safe and i will see you in my next video bye